The Chronicles of the Clarifites. Chapter 1. The Hunt of the Season. Clang, clang! Vrisk was working in his forge, as usual. But he had taken up new projects lately. Huge, beautifully crafted sword. <laughs> I can't do this now! Okay, we can cut that out. <laughs> Huge, beautifully crafted swords and battle axes hung from the walls of his forge. It was not uncommon for clarified blacksmiths to create weapons and tools. Although peaceful, they took pride in their weapons as art. Blacksmiths often hung their creations as decorations. Clarifites were known as smiths, if they were known at all. So what was so unusual about the things Risk was making lately? Well, what clarified smith would put a sharp blade on an axe meant only for decoration? Of course, Risk loved everything to be precise and detailed. After all, he was second in command to Father Clarif. Hunters, prepare your dogs! The caribou herd is at the base of the foothills now! The stern yet kindly... <laughs> <laughs> the stern yet kindly voice of Father Clarif called out, This evening will be the biggest hunt of the season! The Clarifites lived on a diet of meat. <laughs> meat! <laughs> meat! Cooked meat, of course, since they were good enough with fire to be blacksmiths. If there was any job considered as honorable as being a blacksmith, it was a hunter. Almost every hunter had his own war puppy, as the huge wild dogs were often called. They were lovable and easily tamed to a good master. The Clarifites were just about the best masters one could have. Risk continued working while the hunters were down at the caribou herd. He was almost finished with what had taken him weeks, a huge shining battle axe. He hoped he would someday get to use it. There was much feasting and celebrating when the hunters came back with the abundant meat. The festivity ceased only when someone cried from the lookout tower, There's a boat on the lake! With a couple of men in it! <laughs> Learning to panic! Oh, wait, no. Learning! Wait, <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I don't know! No need to panic! Risk and I will go to negotiate with them! Father Clarif started down to the lake in the foothills below the Clarifite community. That's a different one. <laughs> Whoops. Although, although thoughts of his hermits, <laughs> the Clarifites did not mind an occasional visitor. They would give them hospitality as long as they were not there to fight. That's why Father Clarif was not so pleased when he saw Risk following him armed with his newly completed axe, while he was armed only with the Clarified flag. We're not here to intimidate them, Father Clarif warned him. We want to appear peaceful. Risk scowled underneath the helmet that was the first thing he ever made as a blacksmith. That old fool, he thought. Someday we Clarifites will have a wise ruler who will let us do what we are meant to do. The Clarifites shall rule the Korsham kingdoms under Father Risk. Maybe stop them then. Oh. Well, there's like a little... Oh, okay. He was having many thoughts like that lately. He was ambitious and believed that the Clarifite's destiny was to conquer the world. Of course, he would never say of that course. to Father Clarifite himself. <laughs> uh.